Okay, sometimes we have a raw score and a raw um, unstandardized average or mean that's not very clean looking or uniform looking. So what sometimes we do is we take the raw scores and the raw um, average and we create a new standardized cleaner looking distribution. So in this example, we're going to say that Professor X wants to um, take the old scores. So he had he took a, um, a quiz, and the old scores, right, had an average of 57 with a standard deviation of 14. And he says, well, those, those numbers are kind of crazy and different. We're going to standardize them. So he's going to give new scores, right? So the new standardized score, he says, I want the average to be around 50, and I want standard deviation to be a clean 10. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at two different people. We're going to look at Maria's score of 64 and Joe's score of 43. And we're going to say, okay, what would their new scores be um, if he transforms these distribution of raw scores into a new standardized distribution? Okay. So, again, you remember that the Z formula right here right, is um, x minus mu divided by standard deviation. Now, um, this is like me saying, you know, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay, that's the same thing, right? So, um, z equals x minus mu divided by standard deviation. But because that's true, I can turn around to multiplication. So, x equals um, mu plus z times standard deviation, which is like me saying 3 times 5 is 15. These two equations are mathematically identical. They just look a little bit different. Same thing with um, your z equaling formula and your x equaling formula. Right? So we're going to use both of those um, in, in this next example. Okay, so let's do, let's do Maria first. Okay, so Maria has, um, we have to find her z score first. Okay, so we'll do Maria right here. And so let's find a z score for Maria. And again, z equals x minus mu divided by standard deviation. Her x is 64, right? Um, divided by the average for the class, which was 57, divided by the standard deviation, um, 14. Okay? So we have um, 7, right? Divided by um, 14. Uh, so we have her z score being um, positive point um, 5. Let's do um, Joe's now. So we have Joe's um, raw score, right? So let's find his Z score. His um, raw score was what? Uh, 43. Okay, so 43 minus 57. And, and some things should go on your brain right there like, oh, we're going to have a negative number happen here. Well, that's fine. Divided by, again, that 14 standard deviation. So his z, right, um, what is it, uh, negative 14, right, divided by 14. So his z score is negative 1.00, which is fine. Um, in a distribution, he would just be on the left-hand side of the mean, and she would be on more of the right-hand side of the mean. So these are their old scores, right, the old traditional ones. So now let's do it where... Um, we're doing the new standardized one. So again, now we're going to use, we'll do Maria first again. All right. So we have, um, now we're going to use this formula, right? So x equals mu plus z times standard deviation. Okay. Because so we're trying to find out her new um, score. And again, x is um, the note for score, right? Okay, so um, her, um, the new average that the professor wants to use is 50 plus her z of 0.5, right, times this new standard deviation of 10. Okay, so we go 50 plus, in this case, 5, right, 0.5 times 10. So Maria's new score, and this new standardized distribution, is 55. So let's do um, Joe's now. Again, we're going to use this new modified um, x formula, right, so mu um, plus z times standard deviation. Okay, so we have, um, what's his one? So again, 50 is this new um, average the professor wants to use, plus, now he had a negative number, negative 1 times 10, all right? 
so we would go 50 plus negative 10, right? Or 50 minus 10. So Joe's new score is 40. Okay. Um, and we do this to create more of a standardized um, score, a cleaner score, a cleaner distribution. Um, both of them, they look like this, right? So you have normal distribution. You have your mu here, right? And the first mu, um, mu was 57, right? And Maria's score was over here because she got a score of, of 64, right? So 64. And the first one, standard deviation, was um, 14, right? So um, 71. So she was not quite one standard deviation above the mean. And Joe was over here in the um, 40s, right? So 43. Same thing for the new distribution, right? Um, the chain, the the doesn't the look of it doesn't change, right? She's still above. Um, average, right? And he's still below average. It just gives an overall cleaner look to things. Um, 50 is a better average to say than 57, and 10 is an easier number to say than 14. So this is how you create standardized scores, or yeah, new standardized scores um, created with a new distribution.